Hello everybody, welcome to Busy Minds Tutorials and Reviews. Today we want to learn how to create a splash screen in your Android application using Sketchware. If you're watching this video, it means you already know what is the meaning of a splash screen. So you're only here to learn how to create it. So let's jump right into it. So on my screen I have Sketchware because we're using Sketchware. So I click on Sketchware. Now let's allow Sketchware to open for us to start creating a splash screen. So now Sketchware has opened, we have to create a new application. So you come down to your right bottom, your right bottom corner to click on this plus sign to create a new application. So Sketchware wants you to give this application a name. So let's just give it a splash. Let's type in splash screen. Then click on create app. You can see Sketchware has created a new application for us. Now this is the main page. We are going to be needing uh, the home page and the splash screen, the page that will display, the screen that will display when someone click on the application. So we have the main page already. So let's go and create that uh, splash screen page, that view. So if you want to create a new page or a new screen or a new view, you can come to the three dots here at the top right corner, click on it. A flyout will come like this. Then you click on view. Then you come down to your right bottom corner. Then you click on this uh, plus sign in the red circle. Click on it. Now uh, you should name your page. So we are name naming this page. Let's name it splash screen. Splash screen. So you click on uh, add. So you can see we have the two pages now. So let's go. Just write. Let's go and write something on them so that we can actually uh, differentiate them. So let me just drag in um, a test view here. Let me just drag a, a test view on the home page so that you can able to differentiate it. Let's just drag in some things anyway. This is the home page. So I just want to give it a background color. This is my background color. Give it a black. Mm. And the test, let me just write. Um, busyminds.com the test busy mind busy mind dot com okay busy mind dot com this is our own page let's save it now so let's go and um design the splash screen this is the splash. Let's come down to the splash screen. This is our splash screen. So let's put in the logo now. So I put in an image. So let's let's. So what I'm doing now, I want the image to occupy the whole screen. So so let's let's drag in the image. There's no image here. So let's go to our phone to import the image from our phone gallery into Sketchway so that we can use it here. So to do that, you come down to your this red these three dots at the top right corner click on it you click on image then you come down here to click on this plus sign at the bottom right corner then click on click on this box this add image box where you have the camera icon click on it it will take you to your phone now choose a camera or gallery for my case i have chosen gallery so this is my phone gallery now i'm choosing the image so if i click on this place so I choose my busy mind logo here. So let's just give it a name. Let's just type in anything. Okay. Click save. Now the image has been saved. So let's go and add it now on the screen. So you click on the screen, then you touch on this image, then you look at it, you can see the, the logo here. Click on the logo, then click on select. So now, we can do the connection now so now we have our two pages now already so let's 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 begin to add the activity let's let's tell this application that when someone click on this application click on this application on their phone the home page the main application before the main home page of the application open this company logo should display for a few seconds before Normally, when they click on the application, it is the home page that is supposed to come up, which is the first page we've, we created. 
where we wrote busymind.com. That's the page that's supposed to show first when somebody click on your application. But we want to tell that page not to come first. We want to tell that page to allow this splash screen page to show for a few seconds before that page will not come. So now let's go to the home page now to tell the home page that when someone starts the application, it, it shouldn't show. It should allow the splash screen page to show. So this is how you do it. You come to create where you, on the top here where you have view, event, component. Click on event. Then click on this on create. Then click on the create. You create. You come down to your bottom right corner. Click on this blue circle here. You now click on components. You now click on this. You come to your left here where you have tools. Clip to copy to clipboard. Go to the top. You'll see add component. Now then click on intent. So let's just give it the intent. Let's give it, let's say I. Click on hard. So now let's set it now. I want to set screen so that when somebody click on the application, so that when somebody click on the application, you come, the splash screen will show first. So we are setting this splash screen now. So click inside here, I. Click inside here. So the main main page is the one on number one here. It's supposed to show, but you want to tell the splash screen to show, not the main page. So click on the splash screen now. Select it and come here. Also set your eye here. Start activity. Okay, put it here too. Okay, we are done here. So you save it. Save. So let's go to our splash screen now to create. Let's go to our splash screen. Now, okay, let's come to the splash screen. Now we want to tell the, what we are going to do here now is just to tell this splash screen how many seconds we want it to show. So let's come to the event also. Click on the on create. So we want to create the component now. So click on add component. Then this time is the timer. Since it's timer, we don't have to choose intent. We choose timer. Click on timer. Just say T. Then have it. Sorry, we mistakenly had uh, root y, so let's just leave it like that. We're supposed to write t and all that, but you can name it anything you like. But I, I think I mistakenly had it y. I wanted to have t, so now let's add it. So you come down here. I think it's the on your left here where you have um, toast, copy to clipboard, activity, set activity. So counts from one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's the is the fifth item here where you have timer. Then you have after, then you have a white dot, white um, space before you have the MLs. So you have to drag that here. You can see I've dragged it there. So the, you drag something inside. Now you come down to the last item here, which is timer cancel. You drag this timer cancel. You drag it inside. Then the last thing you want to do is to drag this and finish activity. You drag the finish activity inside also. So you come here, you put your Y. You come here too, you put your Y. Then in, after uh, we, this place that you have after, inside this white space here, so that's where we'll write the time. You click on that white space before the MLs. So we'll now write our seconds, which is 3,000 milliseconds. So you now save it. So I think we are done here. Yes, we are done here. Then we save our work. So I think the application is ready. So now we want to, you know, export this application. We want to create the Android application, which is the APK, so that you can send to anybody to install on their phone. You can install on your phone. So to do that, once you finish designing your application, to create the main Android application, you come down to your bottom right corner. You click on Run, so that it can start building. You can see it's building our Android application. But I have to pause this video now because it's going to take some little time. So I have to pause this video. So when it's finished building the application, I'll come back to see. Okay, you can see, you can see on the screen now the application uh, has finished building. So we have, we have to install it now on our phone. So we click on install now. So it's now it's installing on our phone. So let's wait for it to finish installing. So we can test it. So now it has finished installing. So click on done. So now let's go to our, let's leave sketch Let's go to our phone now to check on the application. You can see this is the application here. So let's this this is our application. 
this uh, this uh, application here the splash screen let's, let's click on it to open it you can see it will display can you see the splash screen display for a few seconds before it now came to this busymind.com so that's how you create you basically create a splash screen so thank you for watching please always remember to subscribe to this channel we try as much as possible at busymind.com to make our tutorial very simple and our english is very simple so the people can understand beginners can understand so thank you and subscribe to this channel thank you